In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the lessons that is inside my flagship improvisation program called Nail the Changes. Nail the Changes is an end-to-end -end system and solution for being able to improvise accurately and confidently over any chord progression, especially jazz harmony. I've talked about chord tone improvisation on my YouTube channel before. I'll put a link in the description to other chord tone improvisation videos that I've posted. And this, I think, is just the core, the absolute crux of what we want to be able to do with our improvisation. And then we can expand from there, add scales, add chromatic notes, find our voice, find our style, all of that. But being able to navigate the actual harmony and sound good doing it, this is kind of the center point. And so what I wanted to share with you is one of the videos in the course that is just a simple kind of uh, example video of how this we can work on this from the ground up and this is in between and after going through some pretty intense drills that the course goes through and then saying hey let's try this out on real music let's try this out on a tune with some chord changes and show what would we do if we wanted to work on this song and really nail the changes with this premise of even just purely chord tones i think you'll really enjoy it and at least kind of have a light bulb moment or just get inspired by it. So I wanted to share with you, just know that it's part of the course. So I might mention something from before in the course or something later, but uh, outside of that, it should still be helpful totally on its own. If you wanna learn more about Nail the Changes, you can click on the link in the top of the description to learn all about it, or go to my website, soundguitarlessons.com. Here's the video from the course, hope you enjoy it. Well, the continuous chord tone exercise is where it's at. It is the nucleus here of the skill that we want to learn. Again, you can go, you can do all your licks and stuff around this and scales and whatever, but if you have this ability to do, to do the continuous chord tone exercise, um, then you are unlocking something very, very special, very advanced um, that a lot of people are not taking the time to work through thoroughly and get down. So I gave you the ground from the ground up thorough approach to this. Now, what if we want to just try this on a real tune because this is going to unlock what if you're playing a song you want to be working on a song and you're like well i want to unlock this song because i want to keep actually playing real music well i pulled up my funny valentine do whatever you want to on this i'm going to use these um second to the bottom line the four, four measures there it looks pretty busy right we got a flat major seven we got d half diminished to g7 we got c minor seven b so it goes out of the key all this stuff you can't just play a single scale through that stuff it's moving around it's a ballad so it's going to be you know, a ballad will tend to have more dense chord progressions because it's slower moving, so you have time to think through that stuff. But let's just out of time here, and you don't even have to track exactly what I'm playing, but I'm just gonna show you how would I do this if I was like, I wanna, I wanna really nail this. And I still have to do this all the time. If, I'm, if I really am like this song on this progression for this gig, for this whatever, um, I'm gonna do all those steps. I'm gonna do it from the ground up. And because I've been doing, because I've, learned everything this way I can do that in a in a session in a practice session and kind of get it really um, polished and ready to play after having done it many times and understanding the process but it's not necessarily that just always everything is perfectly ready all the time that's an ideal I'm working towards that um, but mm -hmm. I'll sit here and say okay I'm gonna take the two I love the two strings thing or the minimal amount of strings so I'm gonna take the middle two strings often the example I use do whatever you want start with the top two whatever you want and I'll say, okay, in slim, where are the notes available just on the middle two strings for A flat major seven? Okay, well, if we did all that exercise stuff and can play through our arpeggio shapes and can see it, seeing it quickly is almost more important than playing it quickly. <laughs> just that like, okay, I see where it is so we can follow things that way. Okay, it's these notes. Don't worry if you're not tracking what I'm playing here, you get the idea of what I'm saying though. Same two strings for D half diminished or D minor seven flat five. Sound there. Same two strings for G7. Those are the notes we get for the G7. Same two strings for C minor 7. Same two strings for. Whoa, we're really hearing this interesting motion. Now B flat minor 7. Now E flat 7. Okay, so I kind of mapped it out, but not in time. So now I'm going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and on that one chord, next chord. One and two and next chord. Three and four and next chord. One and two and next chord. Three and four and next chord. Next chord. Next chord. A flat 
flat major 7, D half diminished, G7, C minor 7, B7, B flat minor 7, E flat dominant 7, back to A flat major 7. So I did it in time there, you say, whoa, and we're hearing that move. After doing that, then I have the then I'm following it well enough. Only after, and I'm saying this from experience, from my, my experience, if you have different experience, all good, but I can't have the phrasing control I want to until I can do that. I can't take the space and just feel like the music is moving and I can stop and start whenever I want and play whatever I want until I can do that arguably very non-musical thing, right? Da, 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 da. But we're hitting those connections when the chord needs to change, we're changing. So even with not on the progression, even without the backing track, if I go now in time, do, 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 change, do, do, change, C minor, do, B7, okay, I'll do it over the actual backing track now. Oh, it's fast. As usual with the two string spot, there's not a lot of options. You can start to do the same paths over and over again. And that is a good thing because those paths are actually the same paths that are happening in music in harmony all the time on song after song after song after song. We just don't see those when we're trying to play on all six strings all the time, in every position all the time, jumping around. So you see, okay, what's happening is what you might hear in theory circles about resolve from the flat seven of, um, I was going, you can say resolve from the flat seven of E flat dominant seven to the third of A, flat uh, major seven going back to that. Well, I haven't been emphasizing those kinds of things because any voice leading is powerful voice leading. Any bi-step motion, that is just a natural bi-step motion that's going to happen. So you'll hear if you read a jazz improvisation book, resolve from the flat seven to the major third of the next chord. Well, I'm not saying that over and over again because I don't care <laughs> really if it's that or something else, move to wherever you're closest from and that will inevitably happen a lot because that's happening in music a lot because we're simply following what's actually happening in the harmony. So very powerful stuff. Um, and as I've talked about before, if I wanted to get weirder with it, I'd get weirder with it and then land with chord tones. If I wanted to play with the scales, I'd play with the scales, but be outlining the chord tones and we'll be getting to scales soon. So I hope that was a helpful try this video. Just want you to, just, I'm just, continue if if i had to say out of this whole program that i've put together there's one thing uh if 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 you said hey i can only practice one thing in this whole course i'm sorry for whatever reason <laughs> someone put a spell on me and they said you're only allowed to practice. it would be this it would be this exercise continuous chord tone exercise or some ver version of it so um, i hope that was helpful for a little encouragement to apply that to real music see you in the next video I hope you found that helpful totally on its own. If you want to learn more about Nail the Changes, my course, you can click on the link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com and click on courses and you'll, you will find it there. If you want to see more videos from the course for free, there's a link in the description also to a playlist of several videos that I'm publishing that are all from the course that I'm just sharing because I think they are awesome and helpful and valuable totally on their own out of the entire massive program that is in the course. I just chose a few to share with you. So hope you find them helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.